Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. This is Cole Matt here and in today's episode we're going to be answering the question Which multi-tool should I be using? Now this comment was actually posed down in the comments of the last video I recorded being the No Man's Sky weapon guide So definitely I want to go ahead and give a big shout out to Aaron Smith. Thanks for the video idea and thanks for commenting on that video Starting us off first on the list today, we do have the experimental multi-tool. Now the one I have here is actually the pistol variant. There is also a rifle variant, so definitely consider that whenever choosing your multi-tool on how you want it to look. The bonuses for the experimental multi-tool is that you're going to have a 15 to 25% increase in your damage dealt. You're going to have a 25% to a 30% increase in the mining speed, as well as a 100% increase in your scanning range. Up next on the list, we have the newest addition to the multi-tool family, being the exotic or the royal multi-tools. Now, if you're looking at the screen and you're asking yourself, why does this weapon have 48 slots? This is actually something I done for the last video through No Man's Sky Save Editor. So definitely don't take that as a bonus for this weapon. You will, at full, only have your standard 24 slots. This is just an edit. So if you guys want to know more about how to do that in No Man's Sky Save Editor, leave a comment down below and I'll make a guide on that soon enough. With that being said, we're going to go ahead and jump right into the stats. At an S-Class ranking, we're going to have the exact same stats as the Experimental. Just to recap, that is a 15 to 25% increase in the damage dealt, a 25% to 30% increase in the mining speed, as well as a 100% increase in the scanning radius. And last but not least, we have the Alien Multi-Tool. This weapon will definitely stand out in a crowd, so if you're someone who likes to be seen, Definitely make sure that you choose the alien multi-tool. You'll probably never run into someone with the same multi-tool as you, especially if you went out and found your own. Now onto the stats of this weapon, we are going to have an increase of damage dealt by 25% to 35%, an increase in your mining speed of 15% to 20%, and then an increase in your scanning range between 50 and 60%. With that being said, I do still want to give two tips to anyone still trying to make the decision. Tip number one being we do now have six slots available for multi-tools, so definitely take that into account and I would go ahead and get one of every kind of weapon. Tip number two, and this is actually a comment on the last video as well from Exus. I want to go ahead and thank you for your comment and sorry if I mispronounced your name, but you do want to go ahead and have a trash or a throwaway multi-tool. Because whenever you go from center of one galaxy to the next, it's going to break all the technology on the multi-tool you have installed. So definitely keep that in mind, and I would definitely have a multi-tool set aside for that because you don't want to use your main maxed out multi-tool. That's just going to be too much to repair. If, however, you're still undecided and you want a little push one way or the other, I would say go with the experimental or the exotic multi-tools. My main reasoning being because the mining increase as well as the scanning increase you get with, the, with those weapons definitely, for me at least, far outweighs the damage increase you get with the alien multi-tools. And that's not to say that the alien multi-tools aren't good at what they do. I definitely love the way they look. Just me personally, I don't think that the damage increase is worth it because by the time you have, say, an experimental multi-tool with maxed out S-Class upgrades, you're really not going to notice a huge difference in between that and your maxed out alien multi-tool. Anyways guys, thank you so much for watching this video. Before we go, I want to give a huge shout out to Aaron Smith as well as Exus for the comments on the last video. If anybody has anything they want to see regarding No Man's Sky, whether it's tips or even just a question, leave it down in the comments of this video and I'll get around to it as soon as I possibly can. Thank you so much for watching. If you liked the video, definitely consider leaving a like. If you enjoyed the content on the channel, definitely consider subscribing. I'm making new videos every week and they get better every single day. So thank you so much for watching. Peace out.